Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Hope you have a good weekend. How was your weekend? No. We're still on party. I work. Working. Working, cabal. Oh my God. Where is your day off? It's not on, on the weekend. You rest in what day? Non, ninguno. Okay. Alejandro Jose. Present. Okay. Ana Consuelo. Okay, Dalia. Ana María. Ana María Villatoro. Elsa Cecilia. Present. Okay. Gabriela Carolina. Ya. Yeah. Present. Okay, Gabriela. Gary Adonai. Present teacher. Salam Kari. Linda. Elizabeth. Uy. Grise Leonor. Present. Ok. Henry Oswaldo. Present. Great. Hilda de Los Ángeles. No Hilda here yet. Idalia del Carmen. Okay, Idalia, get better. And Jacqueline Lorena. Present teacher. Hello. Jose Audis. Present teacher. Okay, Jacqueline. Okay, Glenda. Got it. Jacqueline. Ah, sí. Ya. Yeah. Eh, Jose Audis. Catherine Yanira. Present. Ok. Catherine Andrea. Present teacher. Ok. Catherine Yamilet. Present. Ok. Cristian Elizabeth. Present. Present. Where are you? Ah, yes. Yeah. María Ana. Presente. Excelente. María Cristina. Marilyn. Presente. Presente. Ok, María Cristina. Marilyn, always ready. Presente. Sí. Excelente. Marvin. Presente. Ok. Mauricio, Minor, Minor, no, Nubia Araceli, Nubia Beatriz, present Miss, okay.
Reina Inés. Stephanie Alejandra. Present teacher. Ok. Presente teacher. Ok, Reina. Tatiana Michelle. Present. Excellent. Ok. So, are you ready for section four? Yes. Algunos ya van. Hello, good evening. No me paso lista ahorita. Sí, ya la puse. De ya la puse. Ni yo, tía, me conecté un poco tarde, perdón. También, Mauricio, ya. Ahí lo okay. vi cuando iba entrando. Ok. Ok, so we, we are going to start section four, which is. Um, Okay. I'm not wearing boots. Okay, that's the name of section four. And we're going to start today with vocabulary related to clothes. Okay, clothes, vocabulary. Also, we're going to talk about a little about the weather. Okay, the weather. Okay, first we have here clothes for work and clothes for leisure. Okay, work, you all know what is the meaning of work, but what about leisure? What is the meaning of leisure? What do you understand for leisure? Well, it's the opposite, okay? Work, no work, okay? Leisure is when you get rest, you go to the beach, you go to a party, you go to eat in a restaurant, okay? All the time you didn't spend at work is leisure. You go to the park, you will go out with friends, okay? All those activities are leisure activities, okay? That's leisure. So it's like your resting time, like the past weekend, okay? Yesterday was Sunday. So probably some of you have leisure time. Only Henry no que dice que pasó working. Pero los demás, espero que sí, ¿verdad? Si no, you are going to get sick. You need to rest and you need to have leisure time. Okay, to eh, go outside and do uh, something different of your routine. Okay, to get relaxed. Yes, it's clear. What is the meaning of leisure? Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. Muy bien, so we are going to start with men clothes for work. Okay. He's wearing a, a suit. Okay, the suit is compound by a jacket and a pair of pants. Okay, the two pieces, the jacket and the pants, make a suit. Okay, for example, if you are a lawyer, okay, si es un abogado, por ejemplo, you need to dress in a suit, always, right? And also he's wearing a shirt, a white shirt, he's wearing a tie, and he's carrying, porque no lo lleva, he's carrying a black, I think, 
or gray coat and he is wearing a pair of black shoes. Okay, so to describe um, a piece of cloth, okay, you are going to start with the, saying the color. Okay, first you say the color. A blue suit, a black coat, um, black pair of shoes, Bla uh, blue pants, white shirt. Okay, you start saying the color. Y recuerde que van a haber algunas cosas que se va, tienen que decir en plural, en plural, como por ejemplo pantalones y sin plural. So you cannot say he is wearing well, no, eso sí. Mm, eh, black shoe. Okay, black shoe. Porque si no, solo anduviera uno. Okay, he is wearing a black shoe. Si yo digo así, es como que solo anduviera un zapato. So you have to make it in plural. He is wearing shoes in general. Okay, obviamente ya sabemos que need to, a menos que sea an alien. But he is wearing shoes. He's wearing pants in plural. Okay, esas no las podemos decir in singular. Okay, then we have the woman. Okay, what is she wearing for work? Okay, she's wearing, also she's wearing a, a suit, right? A jacket, a green jacket, and a green skirt. Okay. Green jacket, green skirt, a blouse, what is also green, a scarf, green, a green scarf, algo monochromática. And she's wearing high heels, okay, high heels. And um, she's carrying a briefcase. Okay. Also, here we have an orange dress, an orange dress, and a raincoat, a beige raincoat, I think. Okay, so um, these are clothes for work. Then we have the clothes for leisure. Okay, the lady, she is wearing a hat. Okay, she's wearing gloves. She's wearing a purple sweater. She's wearing a blue pair of jeans. And she's wearing gray boots. Boots. And then we have um, for the men, he's wearing a red cap. A red cap, a green t-shirt, a green pair of shorts, um, beige pants or light brown socks, light brown socks, sneakers, red sneakers, a uh, red cap and red sneakers. And I think he's wearing a belt, a belt. Ah, también aquí, el del traje. He's wearing a black belt. This is black and I think this is light brown or beige. Okay, then we have, on the bottom we have pajamas, pajamas and swimsuits. Okay, swimsuits are in general, right? Swimsuits. Okay, puede ser tanto para... Femenino como para masculino. Swimsuits in general. Swimsuit if it is only one. I'm wearing a swimsuit. Or I'm wearing a bikini. I'm wearing a pair of shorts. Okay. Questions about these vocabulary words?
No. Okay, so Alejandro, can you describe um, what is the man wearing for work? What is the man wearing for work? Wearing for work. Mm -hmm. What is he wearing? Can you tell us? Um. Es lo que lleva como teach, uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Qué lleva puesto? Así como yo lo describí. Ok, the man is uh, tie, beach, belt, uh, the pants, black shoes. And the color. Ah, the color black shoes, eh, the, the gold is black. Okay. Black or, or, or silver, black? Yes. Ah, uh, bell is black? Yes. Okay. What about the suit? What about okay. the suit? Yes, blue. Okay, it's blue. Okay, thank you, Alejandro. Blue or light, see, light blue. Yes, yeah. light blue. It's more light blue. Okay. Now, Jacqueline, can you describe the clothes that the lady is wearing? <laughs> Blows white. And belts uh, black pants black and shoes black the lady the lady the lady the woman uh, woman yes again please a blush mm -hmm. uh, my person oh, the one for work. Uh, the work. Uh, la ropa que yo uso para mi trabajo. No. What is the woman here on the photo? What is she wearing? Oh, yes. Blouse and... Verde... ¿Cómo se dice verde? Green. 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 Uh, blue, green. Y decimos primero el color, el y, color. y después el objeto. Sería green, green blouse. Green blouse. Uh, green scarf. Uh, green shoes. Black shoes. Ok. Ok, thank you. Muy bien. Next, let's listen to Marvin. Okay, Marvin. Uh, wait. This one. Uh, this one, Marvin. Okay. Uh, he's wearing a pink hat, a purple sweater, a uh, pink pair of gloves, a uh, blue pair of jeans, and gray boots. Excellent. Okay, blue pair pair of jeans, pair of jeans. And the last one will be for Catherine Andrea, the men. This one. Is red cup. Green t-shirt. Um, no sé cómo se dice verde oscuro. El short. Uh, 
green shirt. Dark, dark um, green. Black, black. Dark. Uh, dark green, green shirt and brown socks, red sneakers. Red sneakers, excellent, great. Muy bien, and also I bring you more vocabulary words. Okay, Maria Cristina. Okay, no questions about this? No? No. Solo una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Eh, quería saber si, si el, el, el ING que lleva al final, cuando nos referimos al presente que está usando, sería cuando termina en ING. Sí, correcto. Sería presente continuo. ¿Qué está usando? Uh -huh. What is he wearing? Entonces, ya, ya no estamos hablando solo del tiempo presente en general, sino de en uh -huh. ese preciso momento. Ah, correcto. Gracias. Ok. Sí, vamos a ver más tiempos también en esta, en esta sección. Muy bien, I bring you this activity. Okay, we're going to, no, probably we're going to start with this. Okay, we're going to talk about weather, okay, weather and clothes. Okay, you have to match. You have to listen and then you have to match. Uh -huh. When it's sunny. When it's sunny. Okay, when it's sunny, how can I wear? Or what can I wear? Tell me, complete the sentence. I have those options. I wear my shirt. Okay, I wear shorts. my shorts. Okay, yes, it could be. I wear my shorts. Vamos a ver next. When it's cold. When it's cold. When it's cold. I wear my sweater. Okay, I wear my sweater. Okay. When it's rainy. When it's rainy. I wear my, my boots. I wear my boots. When it's hot. Mm -hmm. I wear my t-shirt. I wear my t-shirt. A t-shirt. Mm, next. When it's hot. I see. Ya. When it's cloudy. When it's cloudy. I wear my pants. I wear my pants. When it's cloudy, I wear my pants. Thank you. Next. When it's rainy. When it's rainy. I think there is, this is not rainy, this is snowing. When it's snowing. Okay, snowing. It's different that raining. Okay, when it's snowing. I wear my raining coat. Yes, I wear my um, my cup. Raining coat. Right. No. Um, 
when it's snowing. Snowing. Oh, it's snowing. Tapes. I wear my. What's the matter? Hat. My hat. Hat. Yes. When it's hot. When it's hot. Oh, no, no, no escuchan ustedes la cuando le doy acá al botoncito. Sí, sí, se escucha. When it's hot. I wear my skirt. Skirt, yes. When it's windy. When it's windy. I wear my coat. My coat, okay. I wear my coat. And the last one. When it's sunny. When it's sunny, I wear my shoes. Shoes, yes. When it's sunny, I wear my shoes. Yes, correct. Okay. Le voy a mandar este link for you to practice or the listening. The listening, más que todo. The um, el weather. The weather, listening to, to the weather. I think it's not this. Okay. And this is the next activity. Okay, we're going to classify the clothes in, depending of the weather. Okay, so you are going to tell me in which category we have hot and cold. What can I put here in the hot square? T-shirt, hat, shorts. Sure. That's it. Okay, what about for cold weather? The scarf. Winter. Cold. Coat. Okay. Boots, but boots, boots, and winter hat, winter hat, winter hat, winter hat. Ah, ese es el que decía Marvin, winter hat. Muy bien. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Let's. That was too easy, right? Muy bien. Questions about vocabulary? No. And only that. Okay, so that's what, that's it. No questions. Muy bien, veamos entonces the exercise that we have on the platform. Okay, first we have the vocabulary words. Then we have a conversation. Okay, we have a conversation. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn the colors. Let's 
Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. Ah, here we have a color palette. Okay, we have the the like the the tones, the different tones of the same color. Okay, for example, if you mix white with gray, okay, the result is light gray, light gray. Ese sería para el caso de los claros, verdad? And if you combine for example, white and black, okay, the result could be dark gray. Entonces tenemos el claro y el oscuro. Light gray, dark gray. Beige, light brown. Okay, beige es como el más claro. Más claro que el café. Then we have light brown, brown and dark brown. And the black. And will be the same for the rest of colors. For example, we have red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, y dark green. Que era lo que consultaban, ¿verdad? Que como se decía verde oscuro. Okay, dark green, light green, y el green que sería como el término medio. We have light blue. Blue and dark blue. And we have the purple. Okay, so that's for colors. Y como les decía, eh, bueno, hay dos formas de describir de un objeto. El primero era como les, de la, la primera forma es como estaba haciendo los ejemplos. Okay, de, uh, uh, he's wearing black shoes, ok, poniendo primero el color, black shoes, pero aquí les aparece también otra manera usando el verb to be, ok, si se fijan, entonces tenemos el ejemplo que dice, uh, there are two examples, the suit is blue, ok, entonces yo podría decir, he is wearing o his uh, He is wearing a blue suit. Pero también puedo decir, eh, he is wearing, ah, uh, no, the suit is blue. Ahí va a depender del de énfasis que yo quiero hacer. ¿Ok? Porque ahí va, eh, eh, si yo me voy a enfatizar en el objeto, ok, yo voy a decir the suit. ¿Y ¿Cómo es el suit? Ah, it's blue. Ok, the suit is blue, usando verb to be. Pero si yo quiero hacer esa misma, esa, esa misma estructura con el ejemplo de He is wearing black shoes. ¿Cómo me quedaría la oración? Usando el verb to be. ¿Hay días? O ya los perdí. The shoes are black. Ok. The shoes, correct. Verb to be para plural, plural are black. Ok. Y luego tenemos. The pajamas are red and white. Y si lo hacemos a la inversa, ¿cómo nos quedaría? The shoe is black. Y si lo hacemos con la, el ejemplo de pajamas, a la inversa del que tenemos aquí con el verb to be. He is wearing a, a red and white pajamas. ¿Qué okay, pajamas y singular o plural? A plural. Plural. Entonces no puedo usar a. Recuerde que ese es solo para singular. He is wearing are no, ese lo vamos a hacer sin 
A ver. Yo creo que ya los perdí. Vale. ¿Para qué los tiras? ¿Qué le iba a decir? The ah. shoes are black. Okay. ¿Cuál era el ejemplo que salía aquí? The suit is blue. Ok. Muy bien, tenemos dos ejemplos, uno con plural y otro con singular, utilizando verb to be, ¿ok? Para separar el color del noun. Entonces, en este caso, el color sería como un adjective, porque me está describiendo o me está añadiendo información del objeto del cual estoy hablando, que en este caso serían los shoes, ¿ok? ¿Cómo son los shoes? Ah, son black. Que okay, the suit, como es el suit, is black, is blue, is blue. Ok, ahora dijimos que al inicio les había dado otro ejemplo, otra forma de cómo describir. Que okay, Marilyn, el primero, ¿cómo nos quedaría? De la otra forma, sin usar el verb to be. Entonces yo les había dado el ejemplo de He is wearing black shoes. Black, ok. Black shoes, correct. He is wearing black shoes. Ok. Y vamos a ver. Grisel, ¿cómo nos quedaría el segundo ejemplo? He's wearing sweet, mm -hmm. blue is sweet, blue sweet, uh, blue suit. Ok, ¿qué nos haría falta ahí? Elsa, what is missing? ¿Qué nos hace falta en esa oración? Are. ¿Por qué are? ¿Qué suit es solo uno? ¿Cómo decimos un o uno? A o a. Ah, muy bien. Oh. A ah, blue suit. He's wearing a blue suit. En el caso de los shoes, dijimos que no lo íbamos a usar porque era plural y ese solo aplica para singular. Y en efecto, como decía Elsa, si el noun que yo voy a describir empieza con vowel, entonces ahí sí tendría que decir an. Por eh, ejemplo, Um, vaya, veamos esto. The earrings. Oh, no. The earring is gold. Golden. Ok, Nubia, Araceli, ¿cómo me quedaría ese ejemplo? She's wearing a golden earring. earring. 
bueno, y tampoco me salió porque empezamos con, con golden y no con earring. Pero en el caso de que lo, el, el, la siguiente palabra empezara con vowel, ahí sí vamos a poner on, on. Eh, um, quiero ver, no sé si hay algún color, but yes, puede ser a o an, cualquiera de las dos. Ok, no sé si hoy sí está un poco más claro eso, o sea, es lo mismo, significa lo mismo, solamente que hay dos formas de decirlo, yes, uno con el verb to be y otro directamente, el color en el, y el now. Y, lo, y en la otra forma es separando el noun y el color por el verb to be o con el verb to be. ¿Yes? Uh, teacher, con orange, ¿puede darnos un ejemplo? Ah, con orange. Thank you. Ok, de... Okay, Marilyn. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la oración? Uh, she is wearing a, an orange blouse. Blouse. Ok, yes, correct. Esa es la idea. Thank you. <ríe> Muy bien, now write an example. Me van a escribir la misma, o sea, no estos mismos ejemplos que yo di, sino uno de ustedes. Ok, pero siempre uno utilizando el verb to be y otro sin utilizar el verb to be. Ok, type in the, on the chat. Quickly, you have only three minutes at least, maximum. Three minutes. Y van a escribir dos oraciones, la misma, pero de las dos formas. Your examples. Hurry up with your examples. The same sentence in the two form. I am wearing a t-shirt. Y el color, Marvin. The t-shirt. Ah, pero. Mm, en la primera no me puso el color, Marvin. Okay, she's wearing blue jeans. Sin el D. She's wearing blue jeans, Nubia. Okay. The skirt is pink. She's wearing a pink skirt. Excellent, Araceli. Yes. The shoes are white. She's wearing... Vaya, en este caso, como son shoes, no puedo poner A. Porque es plural. She's wearing white shoes. Sin el A, Jacqueline. Ok, Mariana, de sneakers. Eh, Se comió el verb to be, Mariana. The sneakers are black. Eh, el otro sería... Um, he or she is wearing black sneakers, lo mismo que con los shoes, cuando es plural no puedo poner a 
sino que diría sin nada. She is wearing black sneakers. Sin D, sin A, sin an. María Cristina, the coat is blue. Ok, he is wearing a blue coat. Yes, correct. The shirt is pink. She is wearing a pink shirt. Ok, yes. The cap is black. He's wearing a black cap. Yes. My sport underwear is black and pink. Ok. I'm wearing a, sin la N, a black sport. A, y se comió un, un color. Vaya, sería. Si en la primera puso my sports underwear. Sport, creo que sería sin la S. My sport underwear is black and pink. Entonces sería, I am wearing a black and pink sport underwear. Ok, esa palabra no la vimos, pero es importante la que está diciendo el ejemplo de Catherine. Under. Wear. Que underwear es ropa interior, in general. Underwear. Ok, lo que está abajo de la ropa. Underwear. ¿Qué tiene que ver la door con las partes de las prendas de ropa, Glenda? The short is red. Y Dalia se comió el verb to be. The short is red. Ah, bueno, en este caso, como pants and shorts son de las palabras que no pueden ir en singular. Porque tenemos dos piernas. ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos pantalones y chores. Entonces sería: The shorts are red. And she is wearing red shorts. Al revés: red shorts. Sin A, porque tiene que ser en plural. No podemos usar una door, Glenda. O quizás se le fue alguna letra. The shoes are blue. She's wearing blue shoes. Lo mismo de los zapatos. Sin, sin, sí, es plural. Blue shoes. The pants. Ay, hay, que, hay que trabajar en plurales. The pants are red. I'm wearing red pants. Eso sí está bien. The skirt is pink. The socks are blue. He's wearing blue socks. Okay, yes, Alejandro. Good job. Okay, the blouse. Y aquí sería singular. Is black. The blouse is black. He's wearing. Y aquí sería a black blouse. The t-shirt is black. I am wearing a black t-shirt. Excellent. Good job, Tatiana. She's wearing a skirt, a pink skirt. Al revés, primero color. She's wearing a pink skirt. The pants are blue. He is wearing blue pants. Yes, Reina, good. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, Stefan. Ok, the, co the coat is brown. He's wearing a, igual acá, Jacqueline, hay que darle vuelta. Brown eh, coat. He's wearing blue boots. The boots are blue. Excellent, Elsa. Ok, muy bien. Yes, good examples. Okay, let's continue. Solo recuerden practicar lo de singulares y plurales porque todavía veo que se me confunden en eso. 
Ay, aquí está lo de, lo de la actividad que acabamos de hacer, que dividimos the clothes depending of the weather. Okay, for warm weather, weather and for cold weather. Okay, then we have the colors. Ay, nos habíamos quedado en this conversation. You should listen and repeat. White, light gray, gray, brown, brown. Red, green, blue. Which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh, no. All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice. Okay, so here we have the conversation. And remember here we are using possessives. Okay, ¿se recuerdan que lo vimos anteriormente? Okay, they are mine. They are mine. Y también estamos haciendo open questions. Okay, whose jeans are they? Okay, whose jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Okay questions about vocabulary because you are going to practice. No se escuchó el audio. The conversation. Hola. Sí, se escuchó. Ah, estaba viendo que no se escuchó. No, dice Jacqueline. Okay, Gabriela, you are going to start with the conversation. Gabriela and Mauricio. La conversación. Gray's or uh, clothes are dry, are dry. Where is new, new blouse? Blouse. What color is it? It's white. Here is a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. What is mine is the sir. The sister. Oh, no. All uh, our clothes are light blue. It is the problem is this new blue jeans. With jeans, with jeans are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Bien, remember disaster. Okay, wait, wait. It is mine. Okay, that's my new blouse. But what is light blue? Okay, it's a disaster. Okay, luego this um okay, whose jeans? Whose jeans are they? Or it's this new blue jeans? 
here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Okay, vamos a ver two more. Mariana and Henry. Okay. Great. Our clothes uh, are dry. Yeah. Where are is my new blouse? Blouse, correct? Mm -hmm. Hello? Escuche. It's sí. white. Uh, a white blouse. Blue blouse. Is it blue? No. It is not mine. Why? It is mine. It is a disaster. Oh no! Oh, oh so I like blue. Here's the problem. It is there. Not this. New blue jeans. A rose jeans are they? Oh, man, sorry. Okay, thank you. Tienen que ponerle más sabor. Así como, wait. Okay, it's mine. Así como ha comprado una camisa nueva y se la mancharon. Okay, Reina and Gary. Reina and Gary, are you ready? Yeah. Great. Are your clothes are dry? Where is my new blues? Blouse. What, what color is it? It's white. Is a light to the blue? The blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. What is mine is in disaster. Oh no, I or oh, clothes are light blue. Here's the problem is these new blue jeans. What jeans are they? Oh, they are mean. Sorry, okay, they are mine. Mine, y recuerden las palabras wait, como wait a minute, wait a minute, okay, wait. And, right. Who's who's? Who is the king? And blouse. Okay, blouse, blouse. And Okay, the, no, we don't have time. We don't have more time. But you have to continue practicing okay, the pronunciation and the fluency. The fluency, also the intonation. Estas cosas son importantes, okay, in English. They are very important. Entonación. Okay, and only let me check the attendance. Ana Maria? No? Ana Consuelo? Hilda de Los Angeles? Jose Audis? Minor? Minor, are you there? No. Um, and that's it. 
Okay, that's all for today. Remember to practice and start working on the platform section four. Okay, ya empiezo a trabajar la sección cuatro, que esta semana tiene que terminarla y avanzar until section five. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good bye. night. Bye. Bye bye. bye bye. Get rest. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.